Hi, this is Jens from Driving South Africa. I'm nearing the, the end of my trip from Flears by back to Gordon's Bay. And I've got a bit of a different route, so I'm coming from Worcester side on the N1. In front of me is the Toys Cliff Mountains. At least part of it is the Toys Cliff Mountains. I'm not sure what all the various ranges are, if there are more than one range here. But, yes, so I'm planning to do the older Toys Cliff Pass. It's a trip that I've been wanting to do for quite a while now. So, I'm in the Brea de Falay now and approaching the mountains. So, we'll meet up a little while later when I get into the pass. Getting into the mountains now, into the Toys Kloof itself. Still a little while before we the pass, before the road splits to the tunnel and to the pass. Nowadays, when with a tunnel there, you don't often drive the old pass. In fact, I have. I don't think I've driven it since the tunnel's been there. But it was one of my early videos when I did the tunnel and coming out of the tunnel, coming down this way on the, what is called the new Detroit Cliff Pass. Driving this old pass is one of my not so fond memories from the, when I did my military service in the Navy. A friend of mine, we were up in Victoria and coming back with his car, is an old Volkswagen Beetle. And somewhere outside Kimberley, his alternator packed up and when it got dark, the battery obviously went flat once we put the lights on. So we had to stop off at a little town there have the battery charge overnight and it was, it was a nice sunny day so we drove um, without problems until we got to the tourist club pass because then the mist and rain hit us and we couldn't afford to use the lights or the wipers so we waited drove until we saw lights coming from the front, switch on the lights, put on the wipers, and once the, light, the cars are passed, we switch them off again, so we crept across this mountain. And fortunately, we did get over safely, but it wasn't a pleasant drive. Now the 
highest peak in this mountain is about 1,640 meters, which is nearly as high as Joburg. I don't think the pass goes that high up. I'm not sure how I, I'll check once I'm at the top. It's overcast today and a bit hazy, so I don't think the views will be quite what I would have wanted from the top. But again, let's see. stopped there at the garage at Worcester. I saw there's still some snow on the peaks. Not, not, not much. It won't be anything to worry about. here next to the road. is where I'll be turning away from the N2, oh, sorry, the N1, carry on straight to go to the tunnel, I'm taking the R101, Let's see what we have here. So stop and goes. No, it doesn't look like it.
Well, we're into the, the Duisburg Pass. 